Hey everybody, I'm Asian Funk. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the best and worst Star Wars holiday ornaments from Hallmark. Oh my god. I... This isn't DC, but... I think that's hilarious. Am I the only one who thinks that? Like, and also the fact that the, uh, the hook for the string is like on his forehead. I mean, I think that's really terrible placement, but it's also pretty funny. I mean, obviously, um, Darth Vader here is using the force to force choke this guy. That's pretty funny. They even put some blush on his cheeks to make it look like he's like turning pink in the face. That's that's hilarious. It's called the a lack of faith ornament with sound. What does it look like hanging? Yeah, I guess where, where else would they have put the the hook, huh? For the chain, they could have put it on his back, but I guess it would have been uh, leaning because it would have been unbalanced, but that is so funny. <laughs> That's amazing. I would, I know a bunch of people who would love this. I would love this. Let's see what the video is. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. Your sad devotion to that ancient religion has not helped you conjure up the stolen data tapes, or given you clairvoyance enough to find the rebels hidden fort. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Enough of this. Vega, release me. As you wish. I think it's funny that it wasn't just like the sound of the Force choke and then the quote of like, I find the lack of faith disturbing. Like, it wasn't just that bit. It was, like, the whole scene, which is hilarious. And it's, you know, like, it even had a third character voice in there. Um, I don't know if... I feel like the the sound effect... If I would rather not have it then, if they were going to do that. It's too long. Why would you want to sit there and listen to the whole thing? Like, it should have just been, like, of him going... <laughs> And then, you know, the quote, but hmm, weird. Um, I still think it's a hilarious, I think it's a better um, statue figure than it is an ornament. I think it would be better, I would want to put this down somewhere because I think it's so funny. I wouldn't want to hang this on a tree. Um, but yeah, hmm, that's hilarious. All right, let's see what other Star Wars ornaments we have here from Hallmark. Got a AT, at got Yoda, got a BB-8. Oh, all right, let's take a look at this. We're probably just gonna look at the weird ones. So this, I mean, it's like, initially I thought this was pretty cute you know, you got Chewbacca holding up Princess Leia. Um, but like, it's kind of just like a weird ornament, you know? Like, why, why this scene? Like, why would you pick these two? Is it just cause they're, it's, it's kind of friendly-ish, I guess? I don't even remember. Did Chewbacca even pick up Princess Leia at some point? Like, why would that... Was that a significant scene in the movie? I, I'm not a hardcore Star Wars fan, but I don't remember this being, like, an iconic scene or anything. Um, really odd that they would choose this and then make it an ornament, you know? Really weird. And nothing against the characters or the pose or whatever. I think it's I think it's very good. You know, the, I think the they did pretty good with the uh, the fur on Chewbacca here. Uh, the dress is really impressive. Uh, like this area right here, that is that is some good sculpting. Good feet too. Good good feet shapes here. Um, 
but I think it's really this dress. This, yeah, this dress is the the scene stealer for sure, absolutely. Um, but it's just still a weird ornament to me to have, you know. Um, I mean, I guess it's kind of Santa Clausy, you know, like a kid sitting on Santa's lap kind of thing. Uh, I might just be looking too much into it, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's weird to me. Uh, let's see what other weird ones are there. This one, this one's a good one. All right, we got the Rise of Skywalker Ray ornament here. Um, cool pose. Eh, I feel like the face is the weakest link here. I mean, I feel like this is not as well uh, painted or sculpt sculpted as well as the uh, Chewbacca Leia one. Um, but really, I think the face needs the most work. I mean, she looks like Agent Smith from The Matrix. You know, uh, or Elrond from Lord of the Rings. Doesn't look like her at all. Uh, she definitely looks fierce, for sure. De determined and focused, absolutely. Um, but yeah, not... The, f the face isn't bringing it together. Um, it's not even... It's not the expression of the face. I think it's just the, the, the overall face. <laughs> this lightsaber here i feel like it just it they could have made that out of something else or they could have painted it a little more blue i don't know it just the fact that it's like light blue doesn't really it's not doing it for me like unless this thing lit up then okay but it's just kind of i think at a glance this ornament just looks really bland bland and not very interesting i think that's that's the gist. I mean, I think my favorite part is that there's like, you know, Han Solo's gun is in the holster here. That's pretty much it. Like, I'm not even that impressed with the hair detail here. Um, and I'm normally impressed by the hair that uh, the Hallmark ornaments tend to have. But yeah, I'm a little disappointed by this one. Um, let's see what else we have. Let's look at more Star Wars here. Eh, classic. I don't really need to look at that one. It's not that interesting. Oh, here, yes, yes. Okay. All right, so this is a mini Star Wars Empire Strikes Back Luke Skywalker ornament. Let's see. I don't know why this is a mini ornament. Like it would make more sense if Yoda was a mini ornament, right? Um, I think his lightsaber is a little too big. I think the proportions off, like it is just, it's basically like half his body. Is that, is that right? That might be how big it's supposed to be, but it looks huge. Um, I guess the, the challenge of making a mini ornament is that you it's harder to put details in. So this one kind of, he look, I don't know, something's going on with the face here. It kind of looks like one of those, like, ah, um, uh, what, what, what's his name? Like a big boy. He looks like a big boy, you know, um, the burger kid icon. Um, like, yeah, there's, I feel like there's, there's the faces, the whole head is just lacking detail. Uh, Yeah. I don't know. That's probably why they had to make the lightsaber huge so that he shows up. I do like the color of this blue better than the one on Ray, though. So that's a plus. Um, I feel like the, the product shot image here, there's more emotion in the face. But like... There's just like the face is he kind of looks like he's smirking. He has like those eyes, the, the the like those old toy doll eyes where it's just like um but the one in the photo, it looks like he's more 
uh, like he's looking at something. He's more focused for whatever reason. Yeah. There's not a lot of detail in this one. Yeah. Still don't know why this is a mini ornament. Pass. And, oh, okay. We got a Mandalorian. Here we go. That's pretty cool. That's really awesome. Good, good detail. Very good detail on this $20 ornament. I think this is worth every, every penny. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, really great detail. I'm very impressed with this one. Especially on the helmet here. That's very good. The pose is a little weird. I feel like this pose is like he's just slowly sneaking on someone. I mean, I do like the flowing cape. The flowing cape is pretty badass. Um, I, I feel like as a... You're done? Okay. I feel like as an ornament, it's kind of weird, but as a like a figure or a statue, it's awesome. I mean, look at that. That's very cool. I think the his cape is my favorite. Favorite detail. Um, yeah, this one's good. I like this one. A plus. Oh yeah, one of my friends actually sent this to me. And I said, yeah, that's that's like the perfect ornament. Um, this is definitely the ornament of the year, I think. It, it's, it's just, I think it, it's uh, like the perfect shape. And it's just so cute. I kind of wish the... Um, the ring holding the wire wasn't so prominent, but I guess they had to do it this way so that it, it would be balanced. But um, yeah, this is, I mean, of course this was gonna be a really good ornament. Yeah, it's perfect. He could be a little more green though, I think. I feel like he's looking a little, a little drained. He needs more green, I think on the face. Um, but details very good. 20 bucks. Could be cheaper. Oh, it's out of stock. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, couldn't get one even if I wanted to. But yeah, that's, that's an A-plus ornament right there. Those are my thoughts on the best and worst Star Wars ornaments from Hallmark. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.